Hey YouTube, quick video to talk about my experience with the PS Audio Stellar Gain Cell DAC versus the PS Audio Direct Stream Junior. Just as a little bit of background, I originally purchased the Shit Jotunheim uh, Balance DAC, which I was using as a headphone amp and mainly a, a preamp in my system uh, for drive for my uh, Kef LS 50s, and those are the passives with an amp uh, under my desk, the Crown XLS 2502. And was was pretty happy with it, but what I was experiencing was after about a an hour or so of listening, I, I, I would start to notice some ear fatigue and would want to turn my music off. So uh, after several months, maybe close to a year of experiencing that, I said, well, why don't I upgrade to the shit Jotunheim with the multi-bit and see what that does, which I did. This is the Jotunheim with the multi-bit and definitely noticed um, uh, some improvement there it was maybe took me from an, being able to listen to an hour on this to maybe about two hours on this. And just as an experiment, I brought in my Stellar Gain Cell DAC and used it here in my home office. And that brought further improvements over the Jotunheim where I could maybe listen for a few hours and not, you know, not have the desire to turn my music off. So that led me to think, well, why don't I go up another level and try this, the uh, PS Audio Direct Stream Junior. And so that's what this is. And with this unit, I can listen all day long without issue. Um, just a very smooth sound is the best way that I can, that I can communicate the, the differences. Um, I don't feel like I'm missing anything in the highs, the mids or the lows, but it's just a very smooth sound. Um, I'm, I'm, not the best with, with uh, describing audio, as you can tell, but uh, it, again, the best way I can say it is I can listen to about an hour on this before feeling like I want to turn my music off, about two hours on this, maybe about three hours on this, and this I can go all day long. Now, um, one of the issues that I have had with it, though, is the noise floor. There's a little button here that I don't know if you can see it, but it says DAC level. And basically that changes the, uh, there's a built-in attenuator. And so right now I have it on low, but if I put it on its normal setting or, or high setting, I get some noticeable hiss or feedback, you know, hiss in my system. So that's irritating for me. But thankfully I sit relatively close to my speakers in a near field setup. So uh, it's still plenty of volume if I have that attenuator on. Um because of this experience, I'm now seriously thinking about moving up to the direct stream senior. Um, so, and based on what I understand in the forums and after talking to folks at PS Audio, that actually has a lower noise floor uh, to start with over the, the junior. So I'll be curious to see, you know, if I end up going with that, how, how that will work. But super impressed with the direct stream. Um, still evaluating what my long-term solution will be here on my desk. I'm, I'm thinking about possibly, uh, possibly looking at shits, um, maybe like a, a gun gear, uh, DAC and maybe like a Freya preamp. Um, cause that would be considerably less money than both the, the direct stream options from PS audio. Um, so just some things I'm thinking through, but I thought I'd post a quick video about my experiences with the PS Audio gear. Super impressed with this. Thanks.